Hello and welcome to my tutorial about C++ programming. We're going to be using Dev C++ which is a GNU compiler that is downloadable from www.bloodshed.net and we open a new source file and this is the preprocessor there's only one of them for this program. It includes the IO stream header uh, to the program uh, and he, here's the main function open parenthesis close parenthesis for this program at least anyway and then open curly brace um, and then there's the declaration of a double floating point number uh, three of them uh, the numerator denominator and the result followed by a semicolon to indicate the end of the instruction uh, now this is a do loop um, which allows the user to make you know a number of calculations uh, and the see out statement is console out um, and there's a the uh, backslash n indicates a new line uh, within the uh, delimiters which are the quotation marks uh, the console in uh, requests a floating point number and then the console out uh, requ uh, puts words on the screen that let the user know that uh, the program requires a uh, operator. Now I thought this would be a good program just for um, people who have maybe seen a Hello World program um, as maybe something that would uh, be accessible and easy to understand yet useful so a calculator is uh, is um, one of those I suppose um, uh, they enter a second number here and I've already explained these um, sort of statements here but those are lesser than and greater than symbols one one after the other like that that indicates the flow of the of the IO stream which uh, C++ uses um, and uh, if is a conditional statement and it, with all conditional statements in um, uh, C++ they're within parentheses um, and you have to use two equal signs instead of just the one for the assignment um, for a conditional statement and it, this is uh, calculating the result um, for any of the four given uh, operators and um, so for example you know if they uh, had minus as their operator the result would be the numerator minus the denominator um, And uh, this program ends quite shortly, so don't lose, uh, don't get distracted. Um, <laughs> the see out, there's the result, so that puts the result on the screen for the user. And there's the end of the code block with a curly bra brace. Um, and uh, they were doing this, the whole thing, while the operator did not equal E. I said that arbitrarily just so that there would be some way of exiting the program without using the the X on the upper right hand of the window um, and return zero returns the program to the operating system. So I'm going to save it as um, acalc uh, .cpp and then compile it uh, there's no errors but one warning and when I run it we'll see it working okay so here's the calculator itself um, enter a number 2 plus 2 should equal 4 yeah um, 
3,456 divided by uh, 34.5 is roughly 100. Ten point, you know, five, etc. Uh, divided by three is that. So it, it may not be accurate to too many places, but it's good enough for most people's purposes, um, and it works. So um, I hope you've enjoyed my video. Thanks for listening. And don't forget to visit my website for source code.